You gotta cast out, just like this. See how it's going out there? The current's taking it. You want that current to take it and just jig, just like this. Oh my god! Oh my god! It's a salmon! It's a salmon! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, it's a trout! It's a trout! It's a trout! Dude! Yeah! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Dude, I was like, what if we catch one right here? I cast it from the ledge, and as soon as it hit the water, boom! So to explain what just happened, guys, I took Andrew's pole because mine has a different lure on it. I said, you know what, let me try this right here really quick. And I casted. The first cast, something just destroyed it right there in this little pool. And it turned out to be this little rainbow trout. And we're gonna go ahead and eat this guy. He'll be good eating. So first things first is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna fillet this fish. We're gonna fillet it and we're gonna go throw it on the pan, on the stove, and I'm using this Rapala, Rapala, whatever you wanna call it. It's uh, pretty inexpensive, you could buy it from Walmart. It's four inches and it's $12 at Walmart. So this is a good little fillet knife, it even comes with a sharpener. So if you're going on a hike, day hike, you wanna keep things cheap, fairly inexpensive, I'd recommend this knife from Walmart, it's about 12 bucks. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start by cutting the fish right here, and we're gonna work our way up all the way below the gill plate. Now, I do not have the best knife skills, so do not judge, but they work. They, they get the job done. So once that's done and you stopped right below the gill plate, after what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut diagonal right here, right behind the gill plate. It's gonna cut diagonal until you hit bone. I'd recommend using some sort of gloves with this, but we're freaks, we don't care about that kind of stuff, or at least I don't. So once you've got that, you're gonna just work your way, and you're gonna take this, and you're just gonna go ahead and cut right along the bone line. Okay, so, Go ahead, cut that. That's our nice little messed up fillet. Kind of messed up on this side, but you know what, oh well. So what you want to do next, after you got your first fillets, you're gonna want to cut any excess bone out and just discard it. we got another nice little fillet as you can see I kind of messed up on this one but this one's a nice fillet and you can choose what you want to do with the excess fish I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm going to give back to mother nature for giving to me and this is what we call the sacrifice I'm just gonna go ahead 
give that guy back, hawk, eagle, anything will come and, you know, scrap the remains. So let's get back to it. I've removed the bones from the fillets and I have one poor excuse of a fillet and a semi-decent one. Like I said, uh, don't judge my knife skills. Uh, it'll do. But the other essentials you will need to complete this mission of cooking this fish is some sort of rocket fuel. And this is really inexpensive in the life of it. It's about an hour to hour and a half, I believe. And it's only about $5. Next you need the stove, and the stove I rented from a local store, and this ran me about $10 for the weekend. So this and this was 15 bucks, so that's not too bad considering that I'm going to cook a meal out here in the forest. So the next step is to take your little stove and make sure this is down in the off position. There's a little plus and minus sign on there, because if not, it's going to start shooting gas up right away. And you just spin this on, clamp it on. Nice and snug, just hand tight. Don't need to go crazy. And then, just like a Bunsen burner, you just turn this on, you'll hear the gas. And there, now we can control our flame. And it's a life of about an hour, hour and 30 minutes. So, that's all set up. Now let's get some other essentials set up. So some other essentials you're gonna need, I mean, not necessary, it's all based off preference. I got this McCormick lemon pepper with garlic and onion. I, I just really enjoy this, it's, it's tasty. Nothing more to say about that. And then this will add a dash of it, very, very minor. It's roasted garlic and herb, so that'll be very, very minor. And then, let's not forget, we need a good old fashioned lemon. How can you forget a lemon? Definitely need one of those. And last but not least, we got some Land Lakes butter. Let's do this. Bigger go home with the butter, guys. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little tiny bit of this lemon pepper. Just a little tiny bit, not a lot. A lot's not needed for this. And then, all that's left, I'm just gonna take a little dash of the garlic and herb and we're gonna just go ahead and sprinkle it on top. Just a little tiny bit, right on top. Now, we're ready. It's ready. Now we just go ahead, put that guy on there. Put that guy on there. And now it's just a matter of a waiting game. Lemon, meet your maker. Add some lemon, all based off personal preference. There's no right or wrong way. Let me give this guy a little nudge. As you can see, it's starting to whiten around the edges. That's a good sign. As you can see, this skin is just gonna peel right off. Look at that. Just like that. If I could flip this guy over. It's 
skin right off. Doesn't get any better than that, you guys. I know you guys are gonna kill me because, oh, you could eat the skin? I don't want the skin. I know you guys like, oh yeah, just eat the skin, eat the skin. You know, as good as that sounds, I just, I don't, I don't find myself enjoying that. Go ahead and just add a little bit more lemon. The bottom's just nice and ready. Oh my God, you guys. Look at that. It's definitely ready. As you can see, that is nice and crisp and just ready to go and eat. Let's eat. This is why you wear gloves. Man, I am not smart. Look at that. Oh my God, I feel like such an idiot. Whatever, I guess. <laughs> what do you think? Pretty good? It's really good. Me and Andrew are going to finish eating this up because Gavin actually does not like eating fish. But if you try this, let me know how it comes out because it came out incredible. Absolutely incredible. Like, look at that just juicy piece. It's nice and just, it's crisp and the skin peels right off. And like I said, I know a lot of you guys keep telling me like, oh yeah, just eat the skin. I don't want the skin. That sounds so like, that sounds so gross. It's not like I'm not, it's not that I'm not open to new things. I am. I just, I really, really would rather not eat the skin. Like this, all right here. So me and Andrew are just finishing up this nice fish here. Gavin doesn't like fish. Me and Andrew are finishing this up. We're gonna try and see if we can catch another one because we're still a little bit hungry, but overall this was, this was really good. Very clean tasting. Yeah, very fresh and just properly made. Like you could tell it was a, hold, a holdover just by the meat because the meat was you know, a very faint pink, but a lot better than catching any of those mutant stalks that are white. Like this is really good. I like it. I think I may need stitches. Just let it coagulate for now. Or tie it off. Look, you Thank you.